It's Boodle Fight Day. That means a table full of food and no utensils or plates. But what is a Boodle Fight? All I knew was something from the Philippines military and it started getting popular with the general population. But I never knew what the word Boodle actually meant. According to the interwebs, the U.S. military used the word Boodle for junk food. I don't know about that. I was in the Navy. We called junk food Gidunk. <laughs> Some sources also say Boodle comes from the whole kit and caboodle, meaning your backpack and all the stuff. Whatever it means, we're going to eat it. And don't worry, both of the Boodle fights you're going to see today were filmed before the zombie apocalypse. The first one is at the house. You can see there's a bed of rice. That should come as no surprise. We add pancit noodles and meat. Usually hot dogs, pork, chicken, fish. Kind of whatever you have will work. That was the whole point of this is everything gets dumped in together and everyone shares. Unfortunately, this was filmed as one of my old cameras was dying. I did not know it was dying until this very day. There was a bigger group of people that came to eat earlier and I filmed the entire thing and the file is damaged and unusable. The second group came later and I was able to film it. We still had some food for them so we had a smaller boodle fight later. Bummer man. Boodle fights are a lot of fun. They got very popular for family fiestas, and I suppose COVID's probably shut them down somewhat. Hopefully, they'll make a comeback soon. There's not much social distancing when we all share the food and eat with our hands. Everyone seems to enjoy it, and it is part of the ever-popular family bonding. The kids think it's great, and I'm just a big kid, so you know I love it too. When you are done, there is sometimes a bit left over. I guess the pigs and chickens will get some today. The best boodle fight I've been to was at sea. This is a floating kubo in Antiki on the other side of the island. Come here, team. Go here. Take a photo. One, two, three. This one, we have rice, noodles, hot dogs, and fish. Melanie knows I don't like fish. So she stashed some pork off to the side for me. And so I ate from the main table, but I had my secret stash. I didn't know she brought it, and I was very glad that she did. And I really had no idea how much food they brought on the boat out here to this floating Kubo. After feeding yourself, you can feed your friends. When you finish a boodle fight at sea, you just give the leftovers to the fish, which is really great if you're snorkeling. Afterwards, there's nothing to do but lay down and take a nap. Enjoy your day in paradise. Bye.